gentlemen, we have a problem in the stock market. May I call it a big problem? And I want to tell you guys about this huge problem we have going on in the stock market right now. So hopefully it saves you some money because it could end up costing you a lot of money, okay? I'm in this very privileged position. I have two very large YouTube channels, okay? Obviously the main channel and the second channel. I have a big Instagram page and mainly I have this private stock group, which we talk about stocks like the market in general all the time in there in the Discord chat. And we're always chatting about different things. And so I'm in this very, very privileged position where I get to see mass amounts of retail investors that are interested in stock market investing are already stock market investing. Some of these individuals have been investing for less than a year. Some of them have been investing for several years. And some of these people have been investing for decades now. So I'm getting to see this wide group of individuals in the stock market. So I'm constantly able to get like a gauge of the stock market in general from a retail perspective on investing in the stock market. So it's a very privileged position and I absolutely love it. Okay. Now let me show you a few things here. Okay. The S and P 500 in 2019, it just came off its best year it's had since 2013. Okay. The S and P 500 in 2019 was up 28.88%. Unbelievable, unbelievable performance for the S and P 500 in 2019. Like I said, the next closest year was 2013. That's when the market was up 29.6%. Okay. And there's been really no year that that's been even close to that type of performance we had in S&P 500. Keep in mind, S&P 500 on average, you can usually expect like a seven to 8% return. So a 28.88% return, we're talking like a 4X of what you would usually expect. So that's unbelievable performance. And here we are, we're going into 2020. Now we're only, a, what, two, three weeks into the year and the market is already up over 3% in 2020, okay? It's not just S&P 500, the NASDAQ is even a bigger performer, okay? You look at the NASDAQ here. You see the NASDAQ in 2019 was up 35.23%. Ridiculous, ridiculous performance. Once again, the best year the NASDAQ has had since 2013, where the NASDAQ was up 38.32%. And here we are two or three weeks into 2020, and the NASDAQ is already up over four and a half percent, okay? Over four and a half percent. The markets are absolutely on fire. They're doing amazing, okay? 2019, amazing. And so far to start out 2020, been amazing. But it's not just the markets, okay? You look at some of the most popular stocks out there and you see some unbelievable performance, okay? You look at Apple's historical annual stock price data, okay? And here we are. Apple in 2019, its stock price was up 86.16%. Ridiculous stock performance for Apple stock, needless to say, okay? The last year that Apple stock was up more than that was 2009, okay? Shortly after the iPhone came out and whatnot, okay? In that year, Apple stock was up 146%, okay? So needless to say, an 86% return for Apple stock is incredible. And once again, we're like two or three weeks into 2020, and Apple stock is already up eight and a half percent here in 2020. Unbelievable performance for, you know, the, the biggest company in the world needs to say, okay? So we've got another insanely big company, the second biggest market cap company in the world. Its company's name is Microsoft, okay? 2019 Microsoft stock was up 55.26%. We're not talking about some really small company that just hit their numbers out of the ballpark or something. We're talking about Microsoft, okay? A massive company with over a trillion dollar market cap, up over 55%. Once again, it's best performance since 2009, okay? When Microsoft stock was up 56.79%. You can look at all those past years for Microsoft stock and the performance was nothing compared to 2019. Just absolutely incredible performance and once again, Again, here we are just a couple weeks into 2020 and Microsoft stock is already up nearly 6% here in 2020. Now there's a stock I talk about more than any other on my YouTube channels, okay? This is Tesla stock. This is the most popular stock. This is a stock that people love to chat about, whether you're bullish on the stock, bearish on the stock, anything across the board. It's by far and away the most popular stock I ever talk about on the channel, okay? And here we are with Tesla stock. Just in the past three months, the stock has gone from in the 200s to over $500 a share in a three month span. And people that are investing in Tesla are seeing this, okay? People who are not 
even in Tesla stock are seeing this type of performance and they're just wowed. Then you look at a stock like AMD, okay? AMD is certainly not as popular as Tesla, but it's one of the most popular stocks out there from retail investors. And if you just pull up a one year chart for AMD stock, the stock's gone from like $20 a share to about 50, which is once again, ridiculous performance, okay? Now, what happens when everyone sees this, okay? What happens when everybody is seeing this type of performance or being part of this? They're seeing the stock markets have an incredible year in 2019 and clearly holding that momentum into 2020. They're seeing incredibly popular stocks like the Apples, the Microsofts, the Teslas, the AMDs. These type of stocks just go up and up and up. Everybody's seeing this, everybody's partaking in this, okay? And it leads to an issue. And let me tell you about an issue that happened with me a while back because this issue is happening to some people now, I see, okay? So 2012, 2013, 2014 were very, very good years in the stock market. All years of double digit returns, okay? 2012 was like almost a 16% return in the NASDAQ. 2013 was over a 38% return in the NASDAQ and 2014 was over a 13% return in the NASDAQ. And so I had some incredible gains from 2010 to 2014, especially 2012, 2013, and the first half of 2014. And I was getting such insane returns that I started having ideas of maybe starting to start a margin account and starting to invest money that wasn't even mine just for the mere fact that the stock market was going up so fast and there was so much money to be made and there was so much money I was making that it started to give me a false interpretation of how the stock market works. And I started to get like the fear of missing out and I'm like, man, there was this stock I just bought recently. It's already shot up 20%. I wish I had bought heavier. I wish I had even margined out money in this stock so the gains could have been 2x from what I got. What if instead of putting 50,000 in that stock, I put 100,000 in that stock. That stock just shot up 20% like nothing. I just missed out on thousands more dollars of gains or tens of thousands, what am I thinking? And this is the way you start to think when you see that type of performance, okay? And so I start margining out and going into 2015, guess what happens? All that types of unbelievable performance ends. And so now being in the position that I am in, I am seeing a lot of this crazy like chaotic activity. This like, uh, you know, like have you ever been out shot? shopping on Black Friday, like go to Walmart and it's just craziness, madness, people fighting over everything. People like, I gotta buy this, I gotta buy this item, this is the best deal, the price is only gonna go up, I gotta get in, I gotta get in. I'm seeing a lot of this activity now because the market has been doing so amazing. Some stocks out there, you know, especially a lot of the most popular ones, have been doing so amazing that I'm seeing this free for all of people thinking they have to get their hands on stocks any way possible because they're just missing out on so much money if they don't get in. And one thing I can tell you about the stock market, I've been in this game for over a decade now, is a, a great market doesn't keep going forever. And just when you think it's up, 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 away to the moon, all of a sudden things take a big step back, okay? And the same thing happens on the downside. People think, oh my gosh, this is the end of the stock market. The whole thing's gonna crash. It's gonna go down 30%, 40%, 50%. And then things flip back the other way and they start going up. And this is what happens in the stock market and people end up getting trapped either way. They get trapped by the FOMO and they, they have the fear of missing out. And they're like, I gotta get my hands on as many shares as possible, any stock possible, because gosh, these stocks are just going to the moon. Or they end up getting caught into that trap of, oh my gosh, the stock market's going down. Oh my gosh, it keeps going down. Down. oh my gosh, I gotta sell all my stock. And these are the two things that trap so many stock market investors. It traps stock market investors over and over and over again. And it's been happening since the beginning of time and it's gonna keep happening over and over, okay? People are thinking, my goodness, I, I've you know seen a lot of people commenting things like they wanna start a margin account because they have $20,000 invested right now, but they want another 20,000 that they can invest on margin. And they only have to pay a such and such rate and, and they got a such and such rate last year, they got a 25% return in the market last year, and the interest rate they only have to pay on margin is only like 5.5% or 6%, and they're like, oh my gosh, if I, I could just way outdo the markets. And this leads to a huge trap situation for a lot of retail investors, okay? So I want to give you guys this warning here today. Do not get caught up into the FOMO. Do not get caught up into the thinking of, oh my gosh, I have to invest every dollar I have into the market today, because tomorrow the market it's just gonna be up massively more. That's not how you wanna think about this. 
always, always, always think in a disciplined approach when you are stock market investing. And that comes for if you are buying shares or selling shares or partaking in the market in general. Think in a disciplined approach, okay? Okay, I want to start buying stock XYZ because this stock's a pretty decent value here. So you start an initial position. And then if that stock goes down a bit and you still love that stock just as much, you can buy more. This is one of the things that's made me more money than I can ever dream about. And this is the same thing that's made guys like Warren Buffett more money than they ever dreamed about. Starting a position in a stock and that stock goes down 5%, 10%, 20%, whatever in the short term, but yet the stock is a pretty good value and still has an amazing long-term opportunity in front of it. That's how real money is made in the stock market. Not by chasing after stocks that might be up hundreds of percent and not going super undisciplined and starting to margin out all your money because you have a fear of missing out. That's what ends up catching a lot of retail investors and a lot of retail investors investors, it's just, it's, there, there are two biggest mistakes retail investors make in the market. What I'm talking about in this video, fear of missing out and selling after the market has already fallen a bunch and thinking they can time the market to get in and out. Those are two biggest mistakes retail investors make consistently in the market. And if you want to look at the players that make a lot of money in this game over the long term and the people that don't make a lot of money, the people that lose a lot of money, it's always the people that end up having the fear of missing out or the people who sell out of stocks at really bad times, guys and don't let those situations end up taking you down, guys. So this is just a public service announcement here today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, smash the thumbs up button, share this video out with somebody that, that you might think is potentially in this type of situation where they have a fear of missing out and maybe they got some good gains so they're thinking about they need margin money and things like that, guys. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this as always. Thank you for watching and have a great day.